reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory Glory to you, Lord. Lord. As Jesus got into a boat, his disciples followed him. Suddenly, a violent storm came up on the sea, so that the boat was being swamped by waves. But Jesus was asleep. They came and woke him, saying, Lord, save us, we are perishing. He said, then why are you terrified, O you of little faith? And then he got up, rebuked the winds in the sea, and there was great calm. The men were amazed and said, what sort of man is this, whom even the winds and the sea obey? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. As many of you know, today is my birthday. <laughs> you may not know how many birthdays, so here's half the candles <laughs> <laughs> that will be put on my cake. <laughs> you know, at the beginning of Mass, I mentioned that uh, Eucharist means Thanksgiving, and certainly I, I do want to emphasize that in my reflections today. And in 2019, I celebrated my 50th anniversary of priesthood, and uh, of course, people were so kind, sending me cards, etc. And one of the cards that I got that I've kept and I have it posted in my room is a card that breaks down uh, the letters of gratitude. When I was growing up, we used to always do the G stands for this stuff. I, I, I'd like to share this with you because I was really happy to get this. So grab it. G stands for giving thanks. R stands for refreshing the spirit. A stands for appreciating little things. T stands for thinking positively. I stands for identifying goodness. T stands for treasuring each moment. U stands for uniting in kindness. D stands for delighting in laughter. E stands for expressing joy. Yeah, giving thanks, appreciating. Thinking positively, that's not easy these days. Treasuring each moment, definitely want to do that as you get older. The last two, really, I truly appreciate. Delighting in laughter. And E stands for expressing joy. If this is all about good news, if we preach good news, there has to be joy. All the more when all around us there's so little reason to be joyful. And as you become a person of thanksgiving or gratitude, I think you become less and less fearful. I think in today's gospel, when the storm came up and Jesus was asleep and they panic and wake Jesus Lord, save us, we are perishing. He said to them, why are you terrified, O you of little faith? Now at that time, faith did not mean believing in a whole list of church teachings because that hadn't been developed yet. What it meant was trust. Jesus is always asking us to trust more. And you know, every day and sometimes even twice a day, there might be cause for us to, to, to need to trust God when we got this telephone call, this letter, or this news about somebody has cancer, lost their job, automobile, you know, I can go on and on and on. And, 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 and when that curveball gets thrown at us, we go, or, oh no, or, please God, and, what will be echoing in our ears, especially 
with the frequency of mass that you attend, what will be echoing in our ears is, trust me, trust me, trust me. Now you don't need a priest to stand up here and tell you trusting God is easy. But on his 79th birthday, I feel that I can say to you, trusting God is possible. We'll have our petitions now.